Okay, so here we are um, doing a video on how to check all the conversions across all the platforms, okay? This is the most important thing. It's kind of like the final check through you have to do before you turn campaigns on. So what we want to do is do uh, conversion tracking and call tracking are the things that we are, or these are the actions that we're tracking. When people fill out a form and when people phone call us, right? These are what, what leads are, and this is what our, all of the efforts that we do are focused on. We want to initially track it inside Google Analytics and Google AdWords, right? Uh, well, and actually, and CallRail, if we're doing call tracking. CallRail also integrates with Google Analytics and AdWords. which we are going to discuss in this video as well. Okay, so uh, let's get going. Uh, we're going to start. Everything starts at Google Analytics. Google Analytics is the master place. So let's go to Google Analytics. Sign in. And I'm going to pause the video here. So here I am inside Google Analytics, and I'm looking to uh, for the client. And I see that the client doesn't show up. And that means that my, my master account, Raphael at AltusWebDesign.com, has not been given uh, ad, ad, admin rights. So I need to go log in as a client. And that happens sometimes. And we need to make sure please, that, that this is done. Uh, when, when we first set up the Google Analytics, I should have given myself admin rights. And it doesn't look like I did. I can skip this step. Um, so here it is, Vogue Beauty School 01. That's where I'm going to. That's the client. I'll have to do a video on LastPass here because LastPass is fantastic. And as you can see, it's what's driving kind of the remembering of all of the different accounts and emails that that we jump in and out of, which is countless, countless, countless. All right. Sure. We'll let Google do whatever they want. Okay. So that's interesting. 55.1. This is the one. That, so now I'm confirming that everything is working again. So here, here we go. Seven eight one five zero five nine five five one. Right? Is that the one that's inside my Google Tag Manager? I would assume so. I can see that some sessions are coming through. Let's go look at that. Okay, so here I'm, I am inside Google Tag Manager and going into here. I'm going to look at the tags. I'm going to look at the Google Analytics tag. 55 one 509-55-1. 509-55-1. Beep, boop. That's good. That's what we wanted it to be. So this is the guy. Um, this one's supposed to be deleted. Uh, one of my, uh, one of my, uh, one of our team members accidentally created another one, not knowing that I already had created the account. Sometimes we need to uh, make sure that doesn't happen. But here we go. All right. So the things that I wanted to do in here, I wanted to back to the purpose of this video. The why of this video is, is how to check conversions all across and everything happens in Google analytics. So I need to check goals is what they're called in Google analytics. 
and 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 I just and I realized that I'm not added to the ad, to to this account as an admin, so I need to change that too. And all of that happens up here and under the admin tab. I'm going to go ahead and add me as a, as a user, just so that I don't forget. And always add Raphael at altaswebdesign.com and give all information, all access. And add SEM at uh, interactivemarketing.net, which is probably the address that, or this the address that my VAs use. Great. Alrighty then. So now those guys are set, and we're gonna go uh, check. We're, talk we're talking about conversions, but I'm going to check AdWords again to make sure what the linking is. There is a link account. This guy, saw, so we're linked. That's good. I'm going to click on it just to see what happens. Great. Great, 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 great. Seven six four two two nine five zero. I'm going to look for that guy. Oh my goodness. Slow internet. Okay, here we go. 737-642-2950. Okay, so that's good there. And now I'm going to go to goals. So here in goals, there are no goals. So that's the, so we're not tracking conversions yet. Uh, goals and conversions are the same thing inside Google Analytics anyways. So we're going to create a new goal and this goal, well first we need to identify what the goals are. We mentioned that filling out the form and the phone call, phone number is a goal, right? So let's do, let's do the phone call first. So to do a phone call, we're going to do a goal setup custom continue and oh, one second here let's go to call rail and set this up So integrations, Google Analytics. We're going to put in the website domain. a different one Hold on. here I am grabbing the URL going back to car rail dropping it in here create and now I'm gonna do a Google Analytics integration it says it shows the little green check mark there signifying that something's already been done. And I see 951-1, and I believe that's the wrong one. Let me go back out here. Tracking info, tracking code, 55-1. OK, so it was already integrated, but to the wrong account. There we go. Update. Let me let Gabby know. I also have call rail.
And so that's done here. And I believe all I have to do is, I'm gonna pause here for a second. Oh, right, here it is. Adding a call, adding call goals. Universal, that's where we're at. Hmm. And it was me. Oh, are you creating? Custom event phone. Ah, oh, that's it, my friend. So we're gonna go here. And I think it's looking at. I just remembered that I might have an error somewhere. New goal. Custom event. Let's do phone call. Continue phone. Save as goal. All right, so that's the third. That's the first one. The next one is going to be the form conversion. Now, I know this client. They said that they don't really get. Phone calls is really what they get, but I want to see, do they have a form somewhere? Contact. Whoa. That is not good. Did that just really happen? Did you see that? I hit the contact and I went to another website. No, that must have been me. Hold on, let's see. <coughs> contact. Oh, an email. I don't have a form. All right, so website missing in form. So I need to let the, the client know that this is definitely not best practices. Um, okay, so phone call goals have been made, and I'm going to pause here for a second because, well, the next question, well, the next one, let's go look here. I'm a little confused about not having a form. The, the client's website's very old, as you can tell. All right, so we have call conversions. We have it in Google Analytics. We're obviously, we're tracking in call rails, call rail. And there's this whole other video that I did on debugging that. And then now let's look at AdWords. I'll be right back. So the beautiful thing is that the recommendation is to do it through Google Analytics. And that's how we do it. did it first. So now that we've connected CallRail to Google Analytics and we confirm that Google Analytics is linked to Google AdWords, we can go to Google AdWords. Can you believe all these words I'm saying? We can go to Google AdWords. We can go to Tools, Conversions. And Google Analytics, and what we're going to do is import the goals. Here we are inside. Go to Google Analytics. And beautiful. That phone call goal is right there and ready to import. And this is so nice. Not too long ago, it would take days before Google Analytics goals showed up in AdWords. We just created this one and it showed up right here. Beautiful. So grateful for that. Uh, I do not assign value. Import goals. 
All right. And so now that is a video that has covered um, tracking conversions. Forms, we didn't have them. I'll have to do a separate video. Uh, or we'll, I'll do another video on how to set up form conversions. Call conversions. Anything else that you want to automate? We didn't talk about that. But Google Analytics, AdWords, Call Rail. Uh, and that's it. All right. Thank you very much.